Welcome to the party, pals, GRC Mafia. So we're going to go ahead and continue going through CISO Assistant here. And today I wanted to cover domains and perimeters. I really wanted to highlight the help docs that CISO Assistant has. It's very useful. They're adding more to it and definitely looking for feedback on how they can improve that as well. It's a great resource that they've already put together. And they highlight here what the different domains and the perimeters are for. Now I'm going to go ahead and move over to our local installation here for a moment. You'll see in the organization portion, we have domains and perimeters. What this really helps do is organize everything together, allow you to connect it, and then also for you to identify that scope as well. So for an example, we can go through over here in the top right and we can add a new domain. We can go ahead and add sales department, or that could also be, you know, just a certain project or otherwise, just so that way we can go through and narrow it down. And then it has the perimeters underneath it. So now if we go back over here to this help doc, they state right here that you can create it for each department, which may be what most companies do. Or like for an example, if you're a consultant, you can go through and make a different domain for each client. So it's really up to you on how you want to use it. There's various ways that you can configure it. We just added sales and I can go through and open this up. Now, one of the other things I wanted to highlight here is that when we go through and add domains and parameters, we can go to the individual sections. Like you can see on the left hand side, we have these available to us. We can also go down to third parties and we can go to our entity section if we wanted to go to those areas, especially when you're starting to fill this out. I think it's a lot easier to just you can just click on that new domain that you've made and then you have access to all of the perimeters, entities and assets that are attached to that. And so you can add from here, you can go through and edit those sections. And so now we can go through and add perimeters. So we have our sales department here. Now I can go add a new perimeter and we can say, you know, online sales. All right. And then we could add a description if we would like. Now we can go ahead and set the status. Like what is this already in? Are we developing this? Is it just in the design phase? We could just not even add a status to it if we would prefer to. I'm going to go ahead and mark this as production and we can do a default assignee, which is going to automatically assign that particular individual. So we'll go ahead and save that one. And then now we have this available to us. We can also at any time we could just click on that section and we can also click on it and pull this up, which is going to just show just this perimeter. And now you can see inside of this perimeter for online sales underneath the sales department, we have our audits, we have our risk assessments, we have our entity assessments, any campaigns that we add attached to it or otherwise. And that's where it comes in really good handy. So this could be a particular section. This could be you know, sales call center, this could be sales workstations. This could be if you're going through as a consultant, you can have the domains as each client that you have, and then you can use the parameters for the different services or scopes that you're using or helping that client with. And it really helps connect everything together. And also the assets can be attached and the way that everything connects, it just runs through these parameters and domains. So I hope that really kind of explains it there for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or otherwise, or what would you guys like to see coming up, definitely drop that down in the comments below. And then also don't forget to check out those help docs. That's a really awesome resource that they have there. I'll catch you guys in the next video. GRC Mafia.